Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shadow Stamore, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Movie Park Germany. Now this is all about their 2020 developments, it's going to answer a lot of questions and also something very exciting about 2021. Now, we're going to talk about all of that and share my personal thoughts on all these developments. Uh, so before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media. And also guys, make sure you get your questions in for the subscriber Q&A. We had a surge of subscribers yesterday, uh, so very nice indeed. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and I'll be able to answer them in a couple of weeks after we hit the milestone for the Q&A session. So let's get into this particular video then. So let's have a look at all the details about Movie Park Journey's upcoming 2020 season. Now, one of the big things is a retheme of one of their major roller coasters. Now, they have announced Lucky Luke the Ride, the Dalton's Breakout. Now, if you don't know what that is, on your screen now, Fandavidozi, it is the park's SNS, uh, SNS, SLC, the park's Vacoma SLC, MP Express. So, the park's Western Air, this is according to the park. Uh, in terms of press release, the park's western themed area will be given significant reinforcements because the man who moves faster than the shadow opens his new home at Germany's largest film and leisure park with Lucky Loop the Ride, the Dalton's Breakout. We've won a strong family license and will redesign the MP Express with a new storyline around the famous comic and film character Lucky Luke and give it a fresh coat of paint, says marketing manager Manuel Prosetwitz. Uh, or Prostowitz, I think that's just pronounced. With this, we can not only friendly bring our Western themed area together, but at the same time add a very popular figure that is known across all generations across Europe. But what would Lucky Loop be without his well known opponents, the Daltons? Once again, he has his hands full with Convict brothers Joe, William, Jack, and Averill. The Daltons broke out of prison again in a flood by train. The next car is already ready, and now the help of visitors is asked Will they catch the Daltons again? The attraction is scheduled to reopen in the summer. So, that is what they're doing with MP Express. Now, you, if you have absolutely no idea what this coaster is, uh, this first opened on the 6th of April 2001. It's a 689 meter standard model. Uh, so, if you need some uh, sort of uh, comparisons, it's the same model as Infusion here in the UK at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, Mind Eraser at Six Flags America and Six Flags Darien Lake. Um, Riddler's Revenge at Six Flags New England. Kong at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Uh, Flight Deck at Canada's Wonderland. Ednor the, uh, 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 the Attack, I think that's how it's pronounced, at La Ronde. Batman the Ride at Six Flags Mexico. Um, there's a few more examples. Rollercoaster Mayan, the SLC at Energy Land here in Poland. Uh, Thunderhawk at Michigan's Adventure, the old Traumatizer, of course, which is now in Fusion, uh, over at Southport Pleasureland, Vampire at Wellby, Belgium, that's been operating since 1999. So there's a lot of examples of this particular type model, and MP Express is one of them. And that is what they're doing with it. Now, the next sort of question to be answered is, what is happening with the Walking Dead Breakout Maze? Now, we reported in a separate video uh, a few weeks ago now that the Walking Dead uh, attraction at Movie Park Germany, the Breakout attraction, maze attraction, is set to close. Now, that, of course, ties in with the Walking Dead Living Nightmare at Thorpe Park being replaced with Black Mirror Labyrinth. And this will be replaced by the new interactive laser walkthrough attraction in what is Studio 7, which is the former home of the Walking Dead Breakout Maze. So, according to the press release, a total of six different scenes, the guests equipped with laser weapons slip into the role of ghost hunters to finally free the mysterious city of St. Elmo and its saloon from its evil forces after 140 years and get to the bottom of the mysterious history of the place. I like what they're doing with that. You look at Thorpe Park and what they're doing with their former Walking Dead attraction and you look at how they're sort of putting in a maze with intense theming in, like a labyrinth type attraction with intense theming in. So it's a small attraction on the scale of it, but once you bulk it up with theming, scents, noise, sound effects, when you bulk it up with all of that, it makes it an even bigger attraction than the actual type of attraction it is. That's essentially what we're seeing with this. It's basically a laser tag attraction, but they're bringing in this ghost hunter storyline, freeing the city of St. Elmo, 
uh, and giving it this full on storyline of Ghost Hunters. So they're really going all out with this. Uh, now, as well as that, uh, a Dunkin' Donuts food outlet will also be added to the park. The toilets across the park will be, reno will be renovated and themed throughout the year, so stay tuned for that. And more shade added to queue lines with Nickland taking priority. Another 150 metres of Bandit is being retracked, bringing the total of up to three out of four of the ride I've worked on in recent years. So maybe next summer we'll have the last sort of quarter being uh, worked on it. Uh, now, that isn't all, uh, because we have a brand new uh, flat ride uh, going into the uh, Paw Patrol area. Now, of course, the Paw Patrol Adventure Park, uh, that came last year at Movie Park Germany. As many of you who have been with the channel since last year will know, I reported on that. Uh, now... If you want to know exactly what is happening with the Paw Patrol area and exactly what is happening, uh, we have Skies High Flyer. So, um, basically, uh, we have this. So this is opening in the spring, so this is pretty much open around about now uh, or in the spring at some point. Uh, but yeah, Skies High Flyer, that's the new attraction in Paw Patrol, as well as all this other stuff going on as well. So there we go. So that, my friends, is what's happening in 2020. Now, I mentioned a 2021 teaser as well. I'm going to leave that for now, leave it till the end, uh, and I'm just going to share my thoughts on 2020, split the video up a bit. So, 2020, I think this is a pretty good year for Movie Park Germany. I think having a brand new family ride in the new Paw Patrol area and expanding it a bit more uh, is a good move. It's good to expand on what you've recently been adding. Uh, maybe one more expansion next year and I think that's it for a few years uh, and then just leave it alone for a few years let it, let it sink into the park's sort of atmosphere um, now the rethink to MP Express I'm a big fan of this because I've always thought that MP Express was like a loose thumb um, you know it was like it was just stuck out on a limb like it was sort of unthemed and just stands out for the wrong reasons it's a, it look from the reviews it's been getting in terms of the actual coaster from it, from the looks of it it's not a bad ride but it's just stuck out like a loose thumb because it's just unthemed uh, uh, compared to the rest of the park uh, now it's getting this full on western storyline with the Lucky Luke and the Daltons uh, IP uh, to fit along with the movie park sort of theme they're going for with the whole atmosphere of movie park Germany um and I like the storyline they're putting towards this coaster. You know, you're flinging the car behind them and catching the Daltons. So I'm expecting a rethemed station, a new look of paint on the coaster. I'm not sure what colour they go for, but uh, I'm sure they'll go for a good colour. Um, and yeah, it's just very exciting. The Dunkin', everyone loves the Dunkin' Donuts, right? So that's always going to be a good addition uh, to the park. Uh, the toilet's been renovated. That's a good uh, sort of addition, little addition to the park as well. Um... The Paw Patrol attraction, like I said, is a good one as well. Uh, so, yeah, overall, 2020 looks brilliant. Now, I did mention 2021. Now, this is presumably set to take place in the old Ice Age building. Again, I reported that in a separate video on the channel, so make sure you go check that out. And this is the tease. Uh, so, visitors can look forward to even more Hollywood in Germany in 2021. The location is scheduled for a new film-ready family adventure have already been determined and Movie Park Germany is working on a suitable large birthday present for its 25th anniversary. More info will uh, follow shortly. So, overall then from that, again, really excited. Now, you can, um, there is, uh, you, can get it in, you can get this in English as well. Uh, I am going to put a link to the uh, press release for the whole of the information uh, in the description down below. So make sure you go and check that out. Uh, but overall then, my predict I'm not going to share too much predictions on 2021. I'm going to wait until construction picks up a bit uh, and then share my predictions on 2021. So, overall then, from that press release, 2021, it gives me vibes of a filmmaking studio themed ride. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it'll be the same ride system for now. I might be wrong, but I'm thinking it might be the same ride system. Um, 
and they're just going to fully retheme it and just take out all the Ice Age stuff and just put some new theming in. I think Hollywood coming to Germany in 2021 is a tease again with like the filmmaking. Uh, so it could be like a, a Waterborne studio tour maybe. Uh, with a, like an action packed stunt finale maybe. So maybe they could get some... Um, they might keep the ride system, but they might change it a little bit towards the end, sort of give a twist to the enthusiasts. So, I think with it being a filmmaking ready family adventure, I think it should be a Waterborne Studio Tour, in my opinion, with a bit of a stunt finale. Uh, so, that's just my first predictions, but again, those can change when construction picks up a bit. Uh, so, there we go, so that's stuff on 2020 and a little bit on 2021 as well. So, Movie Park Journey is definitely one to watch for the for the, um, the family adventures in 2021 for a nice birthday present for the 25th anniversary of the park. So, uh, looking forward to reporting more on that attraction uh, in later months. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep it on the coastline, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.